Hi, this is the Texas Weekly Newsreel. This week, Governor Rick Perry named Nathan Hecht, the longest serving member of the Texas Supreme Court, to be the chief justice on that panel. He is replacing Wallace Jefferson, who is resigning at the end of the month, and Hecht says he will run for a full term in the top spot in next year's elections. A win would give him another six-year term on the court he has served since the first day of 1989. That leaves Hecht's own spot on the court open, and the governor now gets to appoint someone for that post. They'll also land on next year's ballot. The governor's latest foray into other states' business now takes him to Maryland, where he's telling companies they ought to move to Texas. This goes on the list of states that already includes California, New York, Missouri, where the governor has been prospecting and playing radio ads touting the Lone Star State. And former Texas Attorney General Dan Morales, a one-time star of the Texas Democratic Party who soiled his career with a federal felony conviction and prison term for mail fraud and for falsifying a federal income tax return, is back in the news. He sent a package to the current AG, Greg Abbott, asking him to have a look at federally sealed documents from the state's tobacco litigation. That's the same litigation that is at the root of Morales' own troubles with the law. Morales contends that, quote, the revelations contained therein may well entitle the state to seek the forfeiture of the, count of the attorney fees awarded in the Texas tobacco lawsuit. Those five outside attorneys were awarded $3.2 billion in fees, so there's a fair amount of money involved. Abbott hasn't opened Morales' package for fear that he'd be violating the federal judge's seal and has not yet addressed the question of whether the case deserves another look from the state. And that's the newsreel.